Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and today is game number 89 of the 2007 Cleveland Indians Stratomatic Mostly Advanced Replay. Uh, this would be the first game after the All-Star break. Now there was uh, a few games in the uh, day before this. This would have been played on a Friday, but this, there were some games that took place on Thursday. I just figured I'd give you the simulation standings real quick, uh, just first and second place uh, for now. Uh, the Mets have a 54 and 34 record. They are followed by the Florida Marlins at 46 and 43. Uh, the Cubs lead the NL Central with the 56 and 31 record, followed by the Milwaukee Brewers at 47 and 41. In the NL West, it is the Los Angeles Dodgers with a 51 and 38 record, followed by the San Francisco Giants at 42 and 44. And the AL East, the Boston Red Sox, being the class of that division, uh, have a 56 and 32 record. Lead the New York Yankees, who have a 49 and 38 record. Uh, in the AL mediocre, it's the Tigers with a 43 and 30, 43 and 44 record, with a one-game lead, having a two less in the loss column against for the Minnesota Twins, 43 and 36, 43 and 46. Sorry. And in the AL West, it is the Seattle Mariners with a 46 and 40 record, uh, leading the Oakland Athletics with a 43 and 46 record, and the Angels a half game behind them. All right, the Indians and the Royals both come into this game with a 38 and 50 record. Uh, we'll, and since the Indians are at home today, we'll go ahead and give you their, their starting pitch. This pitching matchup is. Odalis Perez for the Royals and Jake Westbrook for the Indians. Uh, Westbrook making his 10th start. He is 4-4 four and four, and in 55 innings pitch has given up 24 earned runs, walked 14, and struck out 34 with a 3.93 ERA. Uh, go ahead and give you both lineups uh, for the visiting Royal, Royals leading off and playing center field David De Jesus. Batting second and playing second is Mark Grudzelanek. Batting third and playing right field, Mark Tian. Batting fourth in the destroyer of the 2005 Indians division hopes, first baseman Ross Glode. Uh, batting fifth and playing third base, Josh Gordon. Oh, sorry, not Josh. Is it? Alex Gordon, sorry. not Josh Gordon's a wide receiver in the XFL. Alex Gordon, sorry. Uh Batting sixth in the designated hitter, Billy Butler. Uh, batting seventh and catching, Jason LaRue. Batting eighth and playing left field, Joey Gathright. And batting ninth and playing shortstop, Tony Pena Jr. Uh, for the Indians, leading off and playing center field, Grady Sizemore. Batting second and playing third base, Casey Blake. Batting third and behind the plate, Victor Martinez. The cleanup hitter, the designated hitter, Travis Hafner. Batting fifth and playing shortstop, Johnny Peralta. Uh, batting sixth and playing first base is Ryan Garko. Batting seventh and playing left field, Jason Michaels. Batting eighth and playing right field, Franklin Gutierrez. And batting ninth and playing second base, Josh Barfield. And time out for just a second. And we'll go ahead and get started. Here is the pitch to De Jesus. And one four, ground ball to first. And Martina, oh, sorry, uh, Garko steps on the bag himself. One down. And here is Mark Grudzelanek. Two, five, a triple on a one, but that's a six. So that's ripped into the gap. And on second is Grudzelanek. And it's 12. They will not hold him on. And that'll bring up Mark Tian. Five, four. Third base X, 16. It should be able to get him for Blake, who's a three fielder. Oh, Grumble A. I don't believe he would advance. Runner on second. Yep, have to be hit the first or second base. So nice play by Casey Blake. Charges, throws the first. They'll get Tian. Two down. And that'll bring up Ross Glode. 
was a member of the White Sox, uh, had a key hit in a series in 2005 that uh, propelled the White Sox to the division title. Uh, very, gets a very good Indians team. And a 4 8. Betting lefty, swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side. And after half inning, it's the Royals nothing and the Indians coming to bat. And do it for the Indians, Sizemore, Blake, and Martinez. Face lefty Odalis Perez. And you get your Sizemore stats here. Sizemore, 292 average, 9 homers, 37 RBIs. And a 1-3 is a swing and a miss, strike three. So that is Grady's 73rd strikeout of the season. And I'll bring up Casey Blake, 268 average. Eight home runs, 40 RBIs. Six nine, and that ball is driven deep to left center field. Going back is Gath right, and it just it hits the railing on top of the wall. Home run. A one to six home run chance, and that's a six. And Blake has hit his ninth home run and driven in his 41st RBI, and the Indians get out to a one nothing lead. And here is Victor Martinez. Five ten shortstop X and Pena at a two and a thirteen, and he will not get to it. Throw to first, and that will retire Martinez. Two down. Oh, Martinez was batting three oh one going into the game, and here's Travis Hafner, two fifty three, average sixteen homers, fifty five RBIs. Five twelve against the lefty second base X and Greg Zolonic on an 18 as a two fielder will make the play to retire the side, but the Indians get out to an early one nothing lead on the Blake Homer. And do up for the Royals, Gordon, Butler, and LaRue. And there's the pitch to Gordon. 2-6, draws a walk. And they will hold Gordon on. It'd be a 1-10 to, to steal, so they'll hold him on. Here's Billy Butler. 1-9. That's a fly ball to left, and Michaels will camp under it. Makes the catch one down. And here is Jason LaRue, the catcher. And I guess mainly in there for his defense. Ooh, do they want to bunt? Actually, if they're, if they're holding on, they're going to do a hit and run with LaRue. So we'll roll two D6s and see where, where this ends up. So he'd be a B hit and run. Oh, B and a three. This might actually work out for them. B and a three. And he shoots it through the hole. Going to third is Gordon. And LaRue. Because his job, first and third. And they will play back. They will give up a run to get an out. They get possibly get two outs at the end of the inning. Here's Joey Gathright. One eight base hit to center field. In the score is Gordon. The third is LaRue. And quickly, this game is tied at one. Here's Tony Pena Jr. Infield still playing back. 
311. Base hit the left field. Into score is Pena. Gathright not being held on makes him an 18. No arm, no arm for Michaels, so. One to eighteen, and he will take third. And they'll throw, they'll send him going to third, and he's safe. So, assembly line keeps on rolling. And here's David De Jesus. Two to two to one Royals. Six seven second base X. And Barfield, a three and a three. This will probably get through. Yep. Into score from third is Gathright. But only moving up to second is Pena. And it is now three to one Royals. As the misery continues on the corner of Carnegie and Ontario. Here's Mark Gredzalonic. Four six and Grudzalonic walks. Oh boy, can't don't need this on the opening game of a series. So base is full of Royals. For Mark Tian. And they'll bring the infield in. Three three fly ball to left. Under it is Michaels. Paint them. This is not a for sure sack fly. Uh, Pena runs at a thirteen, gets bumped up two. So one to fifteen, they will send him. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. That's a six. And scoring from third is Pena, four to one. Royals. And ninth man to bat in the inning is Russ Glode. Three six pops it up to short. Peralta there, and that will retire the side. A Bronx cheer from the Indians crowd as the Royals put up four. And after an inning and a half, it's the Royals four and the Indians one. And do it for the Indians. Peralta, Garco, and Michaels. Uh, Peralta on the season, 253 average, 14 homers. 42 RBIs, but has struck out 71 times. Talking, that's uh, not quite Aaron Judge numbers, but that's really high. There's a pitch to Peralta. 5, 7, 1 to 10, double chance. That's a 6. And so Peralta with a leadoff double hit only his 8th double of the season. And then he'll bring up the first baseman, Ryan Gark, or you know, the first baseman, Ryan Garko. Uh, Garko batting 244, nine homers, 31 RBIs. Here's the pitch to Perez. Five, seven. And once again, that's a one to 10 double chance, but that's the south side of it. Base hit for Garco, but scoring from second is Peralta. And the Indians cut the deficit to 4-2 to two on Garco's 32nd RBI. And that'll bring up Jason Michaels. One five. And against the lefty ground ball to second in the hole. Only play is the first, and that will move Garko to second base on the first down of the inning. And here's Franklin Gutierrez. 
Gutierrez in 89, uh, 79 at bats, 316 average, four homers, 12 RBIs. Five, four. And that's the center field. De Jesus on a 20 will probably not let runners advance. Four. No. That's a fly ball C, which means runners hold, and there are two outs. And I'll bring up Josh Barfield. Barfield batting 279. Two homers, 24 RBIs. Five, eight, second base X. But that 17 will be good enough for Gredzelanek to make the play. Retire the side. The Indians cut the deficit to four to two going to the bottom of the, or top of the third. And do up for the Royals, Gordon, Butler, and LaRue. And here's Gordon, walked and scored his first time up. 1-4, swing and a miss, strike three. That is second strikeout for Westbrook. Here's Billy Butler. Three seven draws a walk. Third walk for Westbrook. And here's Jason LaRue. Singleton scored his first time up on a hit and run. And they'll be expecting a bunt, but they won't be bunting with one. And hit and run the last time with one out and a runner on first. They're not going to try their luck twice. So here's LaRue. Uh, will they try to hit and run again? They will the problem is we're not holding on Butler, so he'd be a C hit and run. Eh, they'll let him swing away. 2-4, fly ball to right. Gutierrez is under it. Two down. There's Joey Gathright. And not holding on Butler. 2-7, ground ball to short. And Peralta would just go the long way to get Gathright. And that will retire the side. It's a little bit better inning for the for Westbrook here in the third. We go to the bottom half. Indians trail four to two. And do it for the Indians top of the order, Sizemore, Blake, and Martinez. And Sizemore struck out his first time up. Four seven against the lefty base hit the center field, and hmm, they will hold him on definitely. Uh, let's see here, catcher Larue has a minus two arm, so that'll kind of put the brakes on that at least for now. Cause he'd be uh, here holding him on be one to thirteen and then one to eleven with the arm, so they'll hold him on. Hmm. So Blake is an A, would be an A hit and run. So they'll go ahead and, well, he hit a home run his last time up. So let's see what he does here. All right. Five, four to the center fielder, De Jesus, that will not be in range on a 10, but he is an E4. E4 and a 6 should be able to make that play. And he does. One down. And here's Victor Martinez. Grounded out his first time up. 3-7. Ground ball to short. To Pena to Grudzelanek to glow to inning ending double play. And we go to the fourth, Indians trail four to two. 
and do up for the Royals, Pena, De Jesus, and Gretzelonic. And Westbrook will be lucky to get through five. This is this will be the third time through the order, and we're only in the fourth inning. Six ten fly ball to center. Tough chance for size more, but he'll track it down. One down. And here's De Jesus. Five ten, and that's. A little easier play for Science more racing and makes the catch. Two down. There's Grzelonic. Four nine, base hit the left field. So Grzelonic been on base three times today, a, a single double and a walk. And they will not hold on Grzelonic. I'll bring up Mark Tian. Uh, ground out in a sack fly. Three nine swing on a miss straight three, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Indians trail four to two, and do up for the Indians: Hafner, Peralta, and Garco. Here's Hafner. 7 draws a walk, so a leadoff walk for the Indians. And here's Johnny Peralta. Doubled his last time up and scored. And here's the pitch to Peralta. 4-9, and against a righty, light ball to right. And Tian gets under it, one down. Here's Ryan Garko. Singled his last time up and got an art what actually drove in Peralta. 6 7, and he goes down on strikes. Two down. And here's Jason Michaels. 4 8, and that's a base hit. Michaels and going to third is Hafner. And it'll be up to Franklin Gutierrez to try to cut into this in this Royals lead. Two ten. And that's a fly ball! Deep left field! Going back is Gathright out of here! Three-run home run for Franklin Gutierrez. Gives him his fifth home run and 15th RBI. 2-10. And that's a 1-14 home run chance, and that's a 5. And the Indians have taken a 5-4 lead. As Cleveland goes into a frenzy. That's been desperately missed in this 2007 season. Clutch hitting. All right, here's Josh Barfield. One, four, and he goes down on strikes to retire the side, but not before the Indians t retake the lead on the three-run homer by Gutierrez and take a five-to-four lead. And do up for the Royals, Glode, Gordon, and Butler, and what will probably be Westbrook's final inning. All right, here's the pitch to Glode. Three six popped up to short, and Peralta's under it. And squeezes it one down. Gordon, or a Glowed 0 for 3. Here's Alice Gordon, 0 for 1, a walk and a strikeout. 6 9. 
and against the lefty, that's a deep fly ball to right, but right in front of the warning track is uh, Gutierrez, two down, a one to nine home run chance, but that's a 15, so. Gutierrez puts it away, and there's Billy Butler. Uh, 0 for 1 with a walk and a fly out. 5, 8, and Westbrook goes down on strike, so he's not saying, don't take me out yet. Or maybe. 1, 2, 3 inning, and the Indians come into the bottom of the fifth, leading 5 to 4. And do up for the Indians. Top of the order, Sizemore, Blake, and Martinez in the point of weakness inning for Odalis Perez. Uh, they will get bullpen action. They will get Joel Peralta and Jimmy Gobble loosening in the pen. All right. Sizemore, one for two with a single. Six ten and against the lefty ground ball to first and Glowed steps on the bag himself and that retires Sizemore. One down. Here's Casey Blake. One seven and that's a, against the left-handed pitcher ground ball to second and Greg Zalonic takes care of Casey Blake. Two down and here's Victor Martinez. 5-11, switch hitter batting right-handed is a ground ball, gets past the first baseman, glowed into the right field for a hit. And here's Travis Hafner. Peralta is ready when needed. It will not hold on. Martinez, and here's Hafner. 4-8 against the lefty, base hit. And the third is Martinez. Who do we want to bring in? Peralta now. All right, this will be the last batter for for uh, Perez, no matter what. All right, here's the pitch to Peralta. I'm gonna try to get him out here. Five three. That's to the right fielder. Tian, a three and a five. No, that'll drop for a hit. Scoring from third is Martinez. To third is Hafner. Yep. And the Indians take a six to four lead. And we will... Make a pitching change. The Royals make a pitching change. Uh, Joel Peralta is going to come in and relieve Odalis Perez as he has given up six earn and is responsible for the runners on first and third. All right, and here's the pitch to per, for from Peralta. The Garko. Almost had a Peralta Peralta matchup. And here's Ryan Garko, singled and struck out in two appearances. Four, five, shortstop X, and with a 16, Pena being a two will make the play. And that will retire the side. But the Peralta RBI single, his 43rd RBI of the season. Extends the Indians' lead to 6-4. to four. And they're going to let uh, Westbrook try to finish out this side, this part of the order. Um, if he goes past Tony Pena, he will most likely be pulled. Uh, let's see here. And we will get... Rafael Perez 
and Tom Masney loosening in the pen. And here's LaRue against Westbrook. LaRue one for two with a single. Five, eight, and he is not tired, so swing and a miss, strike three. Fifth strikeout for Westbrook. Here's Joey Gathright. One, five, and that's a base hit to left. And Gathright is a sea stealer, will be held on. And that'll bring up Tony Pena Jr. Three, five, swing and a miss, straight three. Ooh, and I know they, I said that if we got back to the top of the order, they'd let him. Oops. Now two outs. <sighs> They'll let him pitch to DeJesus, and this will be uh, Westbrook's last batter. Will he get through the six, or will we have to call on somebody to help him out? Here's the pitch to DeJesus. One, eight. Popped him up. Shortstop, Peralta under it, makes the catch. And that'll retire the side, and that will be it for Westbrook. He used all what he had in him. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. Indians lead 6-4. to four. And they will turn it over to their bullpen. And Rafael Perez will be coming into the game in the top of the seventh. But two up in the bottom of the the sixth, and Peralta will come on to uh, face the bottom third of the order, Michaels, Gutierrez, and Barfield. And here's the pitch to Michaels. Michaels, one for two with a single. Four, nine, base hit to center field. So two for three for Michaels today. And here's Franklin Gutierrez, who's three-run homer, put the Indians ahead five to four. And he has uh, homered in flight out the center field. 2-12. And had another home run chance, but that's only on a one to four, but that's an 18, so that's a fly ball to right. One down. Oh, here it is. Josh Barfield. They should have thumb up bunting for Gutierrez. Michaels is a D stealer. He will not be held on. He's not going anywhere. Um, Barfield being a B bunter. They'll let him swing away. Six nine, and that's actually a. Good result that you passed up the home run chance because with weak power that had only been a single on a 6-20, to 20, that is a, at least a double. And now you got to figure out what you're doing with Michaels. Not being held on as a 15. That ball is hit to center field. DeJesus has a zero arm, so a 75% chance to score for Michaels, they will send him. Here's the throw to the plate. And that is a 14, and he is safe. And Josh Barfield has his 25th RBI of the season and his 21st double. And the Indians now have a 7-4 lead. And... Jimmy Gobble is being um, motioned to start loosening, as is Joaquin Soria. So we'll maybe let him pitch to another batter here. Seven to four Indians. Here's Grady Sizemore. Five two against the lefty. A fly ball to right. Now, 
he will make the catch. And for the, the I won't say little used rule, but so in Strat, if it's a fly ball to right field B, either on a X chance or a regular chance, uh, you take the base runner's rating, 14, add 2, 16. You take the arm of the right fielder, which is T, and he's a minus 2. So that knocks him back down to a 14. On a 1 to 14, runner advances to third. On a 15 to 19, he holds. And on a 20, he is out. So we'll take that 70% chance to move up to third. And that's a 13, and so he moves to third. But there are two outs. And here is Casey Blake. Blake, uh, one for three, and he homered in the first inning to give the Indians a one nothing lead. And here's the pitch to Blake. 3-9, and swing and a miss, strike three. So Peralta ends his inning in a third, but the Indians expand their lead to 7-4. to four. And we go to the seventh, and in will come... Rafael Perez. Westbrook goes six innings. He faced 28 batters, giving up four earned runs, and is in line for the win. And Perez will face Skrudzalonic, Tan, and Glode. And here's the pitch to Grudzalonic. Two two, and against the lefty, that's a popped up behind home plate. Martinez throws off the mask and makes the catch. One down, and here's Mark Tian. You can see Perez's card against the lefties is just fantastic. And a one five, and he goes down on strikes. Two down, and here's Ross Glode. Six, nine, and against the lefty, swing and a miss, straight three, and Perez comes in and one, two, three in the seventh. We go to the bottom half stretch time here at Jacobs Field. Singer, take me out to the ball games at the old ball game. <laughs> and we will have Jimmy Gobble come in. Let me see if that's such a smart move. Lefty, lefty. Yeah. Okay, so Jimmy Gobble will come in. Left-handed pitcher. And he will face Martinez, Hafner, and Peralta. Uh, Martinez singled his last time up. The Indians have a 7-4 lead. Four nine. And against a right-handed batter, that's a base hit to center field. So Martinez, two for four today. And here's Travis Hafner. And they will not hold. They will not hold on Martinez. Two ten ground ball to second. Only, charging is Grudzalonic. Only play is the first. And that's about as good as the sacrifice bunt as Martinez will move to second. One down. And I'll bring up Johnny Peralta. Peralta single and a double in three appearances. Four, two. And against the righty, base hit the center field. And Martinez doesn't run very well, not being held on a 10. And the center fielder, De Jesus has a zero arm. Uh, they'll, they'll hold him up. Which is, I don't want to do it. I have to, because Martinez does not run well. 
So first and third, one down. And Joaquim Soria and David Risky are loosening in the pen as Gobble has almost reached his point of weakness. On, now, if there's a one there, he's automatically tired, so he only gets the, the three walks and, and unintentional walks and or hits in an inning. Here's Ryan Garko, one for three. One ten, and that ball is hit deep to left field and gone. Three run homer for Garko. That is his tenth home run and thirty fourth. Actually, no, he had an RBI earlier, so that'll make it his thirty fifth RBI. And this one is almost been put out of reach. 10 to 4. I can't remember the last time the Indians have actually scored 10 runs in this replay. So, uh, base is cleared, and we may get Joe Borowski to pitch the ninth because he hasn't pitched in a while. All right, so you have. Well, you, you'll get Edward Mujica loosening in, in the pen as well. So, we're only going to have. Uh, Perez go the one inning and he may come up. So Garko clears the bases and that'll be it for Gobble. Only goes an inning, and a th uh, only goes a third of an inning and we will bring in, and I hope YouTube doesn't get me for this, but this is his actual nickname, the Mexicutioner Joaquin Soria come in to try to stem the tide and here's Jason Michaels One, two against the righty. Uh-oh, and he gets hit. And he goes to first, and the crowd's not very happy with that. And here's Franklin Gutierrez, who hit, has hit one of the three Indians homers, a three-run homer of his own in the fourth inning. And here's the pitch to Gutierrez. Uh, Michael's not being held on. 6'10", uh, the center field. Ooh, De Jesus, ooh, a two and a three. No, he will not make the play. And going to third is uh, Michaels. And that will bring up Josh Barfield, whose double in the sixth inning brought home Jason Michaels. And here's the pitch from Soria. And Zach Granke is loosening in the pen. Yes, he came out of the bullpen in 2007. 6 7. And Barfield draws a walk. Wow. And that'll load the bases for Grady Sizemore. Eighth man to bat in the inning. And here's the pitch to Sizemore from Soria. 4-7. That's as good as a hit. Fly ball to center. Uh, going back is to Jesus. He will make the play, but scoring from third is... Michaels, so add another RBI for Sizemore. That is his 38th on the season. And the Indians have put up four in the inning and now lead 11 to four. Two down. Runner from third scores. Everybody else stays put. And here comes Casey Blake, ninth man to bat. One three, 
And that's a ground ball back to the mound. Uh, Soria will take care of it, and that will retire the side. But the Indians put up four in the seventh inning and lead 11 to four. And we will get Edward Mujica pitching and timeout. For those that wanted to know, Perez's stats coming into the game, that was his 19th appearance, a no record, 19 innings pitched, now 20. Three earned runs, four walks, and 17 strikeouts for a 1.42 ERA. And Edward Mujica making his 13th appearance, no record, 13 and a third innings pitched, six earned runs, one walk, eight strikeouts, and a 4.05 ERA. And let me get his strat card real quick. All right, Mujica will face uh, Gordon, Butler, and LaRue. Well, we might get pinch hitter for Billy Butler. All right, here's Gordon. Actually, yeah, I guess we'll let him hit. All right, so here's Gordon to face Mujica. 4-3 against a lefty. Third base X, and on a three for Blake, I will not get to it. Base hit. And not what you want for the Indians to have a new pitcher come in and give up a hit. And Butler has been called back. Esteban Herman will be coming in to pinch hit. Butler was 0 for 2 with a walk. All right, so Herman will come in. And here's the pitch to Herman. 1 8. And that's a field goal roll there, but ground ball to short. Peralta to Barfield to Garco. Double play. Oops. And now there's two outs. And runner on second is out. So here's Jason LaRue. Rue is over is a one for three with a single. And a one four, and he goes down on strikes. So one uh Royals go in order here in the eighth, and Joe Borowski is loosening in the pen. I'll tell you when the last time he pitched when he when he comes into the game. And Soria will not be pitching. Uh David Risky will be coming in. Hold on a second, timeout. All right, and here's David Risky. He actually did pitch in this game in real life. Uh, and a former Indian, for that matter. And Risky will be the fourth Royals pitcher, and the Indians are hoping the last. Uh, he will face Martinez, Hafner, and Peralta. Actually, I might get Michael Ross in a bat here. All right, so here's Martinez to face Risky. Three eight, and against the righty ground ball to second. The throw to uh, Grzelanek to Glode one down. And here's Travis Hafner. Two eight, and it's a ground ball to third. And do, do Gordon to Glode, two down. Uh, do we want to let Ross hit? No, nah, we'll let Peralta hit. Two down. Bottom of the eighth. Joe Borowski loosening in the pen. He will come into the game to get some work. Six eight. That's a pop up to short. And that will retire the side. 
And we go to the ninth, and I'll be right back with what Joe Borowski last pitched. All right, and in comes Joe Borowski. Uh, Borowski on the season in 26 appearances, 25 in the third innings. Uh, gave up 21 earned runs, 4 walks, 16 strikeouts, 13 saves, and 19 opportunities. And a 7.46 ERA. This will not be a safe situation. Uh, Borowski has not appeared since game 85. So it's been uh, eight days since he has pitched. So we will give him some work. And he will face Gathright, Pena, and DeJesus. Third Indians reliever so far. Get right two for three on the on the day. Four four catcher X is a seven in range. Yes, it is. Martinez a four and a seven. I oh, all the sevens except for five are popped up in front of the plate, and he will call everybody off and make the catch one down. And here's Tony Pena Jr. Pena is one for three with a single. Two, eight. And ground ball to second. Easy play for Barfield. Two down, and somewhere in the stadium, Europe's final countdown is playing. Because that's what they do. And here's the Jesus. One, eight. Popped him up. Shortstop under it. Ball game. Final score from Jacobs Field on probably what was a fireworks night. The Indians win it 11-4, and we'll be right back with the line score right after this. All right, final line score here. Uh, Indians 11 runs, 14 hits, no errors. Royals 4 runs, 8 hits, no errors. Uh, Westbrook will get the win. He will go to 5-4 and four on the season. And Odalis Perez with the loss, he went four and two thirds innings, giving up the six earned runs in the loss. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've not already subscribed, hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever game you are playing, please enjoy it to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.